Hi, I'm Mike, CTO at Purify, and today I will show you how Purify works within the Polygon ecosystem. Let me start first of all what Purify is. The Purify is a compliance protocol for DeFi. Unlike major compliance products in crypto, Purify aims to be integrated on a smart contract level, which gives the highest security standards and eliminates overcoming the compliance checks by directly using smart contracts. Imagine you have a DApp and you need to validate your user credentials before you let them in. Let's assume users have not been validated before. There is some preparation process. First of all, you should have Purify business subscription for your DApp. Then you have to do some integration. But when all it's done and you have uh, your user on your DApp website, you forward the user to the Purify dashboard. You hear what users will do. So first of all, user will connect his wallet. Sign in. And he, here, user can see the QAC process that he has to follow. User press start and then continue. There is a message that validates that the user is in control under the private key. And then we will hit submit. So here, how user will submit his documents. Then user has to wait for some time until documents gets verified. When the documents will be verified, here is the Polygon ID tab that we will use to issue Polygon ID credentials. So in order to do that, we have to install Polygon ID application. Here, how it looks like. Just make sure that you, for stage environment, you should use Mumbai network. So our documents are verified and we are proceeding to Polygon ID tab. Here we have to unlock credentials. and paste them here then we hit issue this way purifies issue the credentials so credentials data are below and in order to download them to polygon id wallet we have to create qr code and then scan the qr code with the polygon id app here. Okay, credentials ended. And here we have credentials. If we we can see them right here. So if you can see the data is the same that we can see on the on the screen. So here I will show you how you can you use credentials as a verifier. So to do some verifications with our credentials, I will use the test site by Polygon ID. So here we have to put the custom, say name, and we will use credentials atomic query signature to simplify the process. So here is a link to the schema and the name of and the type of credentials the field for that we will be validating for example is a birthday it should be so let's assume we need to check that the person is older than 22 years old so the birthday should be less than and the value and the value is first of uh, january 2001 and here we generate the request. So users will normally not see the form. This is a developer stuff, so they will see just the resulting QR code. So then we scan this QR code with our Polygon ID app. Is, so this is a private proof and what will we check the birthday is, is smaller than uh, the number that we provided and we have hit approve 
then it generates the proof. And here we have uh, our credentials successfully verified. And this request, this request has proved that being generated. So this is how it works. I also want to underline that despite the fact that I've been showing all the process from our test environment, everything works the same on our production environment, but you have to provide the real documents and use Polygon ID with mainnet, not Mumbai.